With the rise of motion graphics, Fireworks has actually set aside a rather interesting niche in preparing graphics for this purpose. For instance, in Adobe Edge, you can actually take items inside your Fireworks file and put them in motion. But the question is, how do you set them up for use in, say, Flash or Fireworks or even a video application like uh, After Effects or even Adobe Premiere? That's going to be the subject of this exercise. And to get yourself started, open up the edge.png file located in your exercise folder. And when it opens, you'll see that this is a file that is destined for Edge. It's composed of a number of elements. If you come to the Layers panel, you can see that there is the background image, which is all the warriors in the pit. There's this warrior at the front. And then there's some text here. And the plan in Edge is to have this text sort of slide across. So basically, I'll show you what it's going to do. It's going to come in like this and just stay put. And this guy is going to come up into his final position. Now, obviously, you can't do this in Fireworks, but you can prepare the image for use in the applications like Edge and Flash if you are aware of how it's going to be used and what you need. Now, the first thing to be aware of is that you're going to need transparency, especially for the text and the head. So that, that tells you transparency is going to have to be applied to the image. That means it's a ping image, a PNG image. PNG is the one format that's common to all of them that actually has transparency. But even before you start, one of the first things you want to take a look at is how the file is constructed. For instance, I got the background here, and you'll notice that there's a bit of a gradient here. If I uh, turn off the background, you can see there's that gradient there, just providing a little bit of darkness behind it. Well, this layer is going to come in to the document as a separate layer, which is going to defeat the purpose. So what I want to do is, first off, select these two layers, and let's just flatten them, because it's not going to move. It's just going to be there. And to flatten a layer, what you do is you just select the two layers or sub-layers that you want and select Flatten Selection from the Context menu. The other thing, of course, that you can do is just uh, right-click and get it there. And I'm going to name this one Warrior Pit. The next step in the process is to just sort of make sure that this is all a PNG image. So you open up the Optimize panel, and you're going to choose Ping 32. Ping 32 gives you the millions of colors in the image, plus it gives you an extra 8-bit transparency channel. Now, the matte is the color of the background page that will go in HTML. If there's a matte, it will come in transparent. And that is what I need here for the warrior, and I need it here for the text. So I'm quite happy with that. The next step in the process, once I've got everything in place, and by the way, you don't necessarily have to set this up for its final look. You could, for instance, just output this just like that. It doesn't matter. And you'll see why in the next step of the process. We'll just uh, put this back, this guy here. Now, to get this out in a format that can be read by Flash or any of the other applications that are going to be using the layers, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the File menu, Export, right there. And it's going to ask you how you want to export it. And the export pop-down is really where the magic happens. And it's right here, Layers to Files. So each layer is now going to come out as its own file. It's going to separate the Fireworks document into separate images and then just leave them in place. So you select Layers to Files. And one thing I usually do is just create a new folder and send the files to that. So just click the Create New Folder, name, give it a name, Create, and now they're going to go to that file. And if you click Export, it's very quick. And if you want, you can take a look at the images now. So if you uh, File Open, and you come to your Export folder, or the Warrior folder, there they are there. There's the background, there's the text, and there's the Warrior. And these are all transparent. So now what you can do is take these individual pieces inside a fireworks image and put them in motion elsewhere. So in this exercise, I've shown you how to prepare images for export to motion graphics applications. The format you want to use, especially if you've got transparency, is the PNG32 format. You can set the PNG32 format right here in the Optimize panel. Just remember that you can't set the transparency or the format of individual layers. It's when you're optimizing an image, it's the entire image. So I've shown you how to do that, how to set the transparency or the map. I've also shown you how to optimize a couple layers, make sure that everything is in place. 
And then the final thing I showed you was how to export the file out using the export menu, which is layers to files. And a little teacher trick here, put it in its own separate folder.